Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell. So today's video is part one of my living room transformation where I'll basically be showing you how I transformed my living room and took it from this to this with a TV firewall. If you are new to my channel then hi my name is Michelle, I upload videos every single week on things like cleaning, cooking, lifestyle, a lot of house content. So if you do li like that kind of thing, then I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. And I put quite a lot of housey kind of updates over on my Instagram, which is at home with Shell, and I will link that in the description box down below for you. Arabella has just gone down for her nap. So first things first is we need to basically sort out everything that's in this unit here. Just give it a good sort out, tidy it all up. Find somewhere for some of the toys to go. Um, so there's toys everywhere because Arabella's just been playing. Then we'll probably move one of these units into the dining room. Um, and then we might keep the two end ones in here for now. Just to kind of see what it looks like. TV unit in here and we've just taken that into the dining room for now and um, we've actually left the two at the ends because I actually think that they might look all right and then once we've got it up I might leave a couple of these I might actually buy another couple to have them either side and then we don't kind of lose any storage um, so we've just put some tape on the walls just to try and measure out where we want the TV to go where we want the sound bar, where the fire will go um, so yeah, this is kind of what we're thinking. So we've sat down thinking, oh, does it look okay if we can see it? We have got a tilt on the bracket, on the TV bracket that we've bought as well. So if it is slightly too high, we can kind of lean it towards us slightly. Um, so this is the soundbar we went for. So we went for a Sony soundbar with um, Dolby Atmos, which basically then links into the TV that we've got as well. Then we got the LG um, OLED TV, and I've just bought these from Amazon. So these are just some LED strip lights. So I'm basically going to put these around the back of the TV. Um, and I think these come with a remote control as well. So then you can just kind of light these up and it will look quite cool when the TV's up. But we're not going to put in any of the logs or the pebbles or anything until tomorrow because I think we'll wait obviously until the man has put it in there and built it. So he's coming tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, and we're pretty much all ready to go now. So yeah, need to go and get some dinner and then wait for him to come tomorrow and we'll show you the rest. So we used a local carpenter called Paul Lake Carpentry and he was honestly amazing. I would definitely recommend him and we'll leave his details linked below if anyone kind of lives local and is interested. I didn't really film too much of him kind of putting the fire up because I thought it was a bit awkward for him so I just kind of filmed a couple of bits so mainly him putting the base up. So the carpenter has been this morning, um, he's just popped out to get some more materials but you can see here he's got kind of the main frame in place already so where the TV will go, the soundbar, the fire will go down here and um, he's just popped out to get some more materials but what we've decided we're going to do because he is building a wooden frame um, and we're going to have wooden doors on it as opposed to like plasterboard or anything so down here He's going to build in um, a couple of doors so we'll actually have storage underneath and then down each side of the TV he's going to put shelves in and then so we can't see the doors at the front he's going to put doors in down the side bit as well so he said tonight we should be able to get the TV and everything in and then tomorrow he's going to come and finish off the rest of it so yeah hopefully by the end of tomorrow it will all be done. The main frame and boarding is now up, so Paul's going to add on the TV bracket so we can put the TV in, add the soundbar in and place the fire in. Mind, 
Now the fire is in place, that evening I added in the stones and the logs into the fire and it really started to feel like it was coming to life and it actually looked like a real kind of fireplace now. I didn't really film much of it going up on day two um, because the main frame was in it was just a case of kind of adding the MDF and Paul also added the shelves and the doors for me so you can see it here almost completed just needed to be sanded and then it was ready for me to paint. So I don't think I've actually shown you it since it's all kind of finished now so it's all finished and um, all the MDF is up it's all kind of been sanded down filled in so it is completely smooth honestly you just can't believe how smooth it is um so all that we need to do now is i'm going to put some primer on it hopefully today so it's saturday today um and then we're going to paint it and then i'm ordering some um imperia italia paint i think it's called um it's basically like a textured paint so i'm going to put that on here and the wall behind it as well but i just need to kind of paint it in a white color initially I applied two coats of wood primer which I picked up from Amazon, again I will link everything down below for you and then once that was dry I then put on a further two coats of plain white emulsion. A couple of days later I then primed again using the Imperia Italia primer. This was actually a slightly coloured primer that you get with the paint um, and it had kind of quite a light grey tone to it. The primer was dry after around four hours so then it was time to go in with the Jimsing Luxury paint. So I've gone for the paint which has a little bit of kind of glitter in it as well um, and it's basically a textured effect paint. I will show you in next week's video how to actually apply the paint. The paint is dry and I am so happy with how it's turned out. I don't know if it's picking it up on camera but you can see here, the paint is all kind of glittery and textured. I absolutely love it. And what I really like about it is that it actually looks different in certain lights. So at night it will kind of look one way and then in the day another. I absolutely love it. Definitely recommend this kind of textured paint. And I love the subtle bits of glitter in it as well. So I just thought I'd show you the finished article. So this is basically what it looks like now. Some TV firewalls that you build have a plasterboard finish but we actually have an MDF finish so on the front there is essentially two large pieces of MDF you can see very slightly here where it's joined um, yeah the whole thing is kind of made of MDF we've got our fire in there the sound bar and the TV in there and you can see we've got the colors behind the TV which I think looks really cool and we kind of changed that up as well really like the fire because you can change up how it is. This is the more traditional fire method, but you can also have it on blues and whites and oranges and reds and all different kind of colours. So I thought I'd show you the storage options in it as well. You can see here that it does kind of come out from the wall quite a bit um, and it's quite a lot of lost space. So what we asked our carpenter to do is actually build storage into it. We didn't plan on doing this, but it's something he mentioned and it's so glad we did because you just open this door, you can't see it from the front or anything. So it's kind of hidden at the sides. So I've got five shelves in here. Um, I probably will paint in here. Um, at the minute I've just kind of put some nappies and just random stuff in there um, but I am going to get some baskets so I can put things in there and just make it look a little bit neater but I think this is a fantastic storage option and if you are looking at building a TV firewall I would definitely recommend speaking to your carpenter about doing something like this because it's just great hidden storage really. Um, so talking about storage we've also got some more hidden storage which I'll show you. So this just pops shut like that so easy and then down here I have some other storage so this isn't necessarily hidden because you can obviously see this the join from the front of it with the doors on it um, but we have a table in the front so you can't kind of really make out too much and again you just push on them and it pops open and you can see in here that we've got quite a lot of storage um, so I haven't really kind of put that much in there at the moment we probably should paint in there but it doesn't really matter to be honest but 
again, great storage options in there and they just shut really easily, like so. So yeah, this is the, the fire that we've got. So like I said, it changes colors and what you can also do is change the stones in here. So at the moment, I've got the pebbles and log option, but with the fire that we got, you can also put like the glass pebbles in. So if you're going for the blue kind of icy theme, that does look quite cool as well. I'll just show you around this side very quickly. So we have another door at this side. Um, we did speak about getting shelves in here, um, but we can't really get shelves in here um, because this is the access to the TV. So we actually have a media point down here, um, which is quite ugly. And I really wanted to make sure that this was built over it, but we can means we can access all of this in here. You can see in here that all the wires are really well hidden. So you can't see kind of any wires on show or anything, which I think looks much, much better. So yeah, I'm really, really impressed with it. And again, just shuts like so. So we've got this, this is the LG OLED TV um, and we've got this on a swivel TV bracket. It was actually quite reasonable. I think I got it from Amazon for around 30 pounds. Um, and you can see here, you can kind of pull it out like so um, and then just, push it to whatever angle you want it. So you can have it more tilted or you can have it straight, um, which is quite a nice feature. So I'll just kind of push that back in now. Um, the sound bar I did mention earlier, really like this sound bar. I've never actually had one before and I think it's amazing. It makes watching films so much fun. Um, so I've got this here and then it has a subwoofer which we've put behind the sofa and it creates a real kind of cinema experience. So it's super cozy in here at the moment, especially with it being winter and having the Christmas tree and everything in here. It's just an absolutely amazing feature and I'm so glad we've done it. Um, so in next week's video, um, I will be showing you a quick tutorial on actually how I did the Imperia Italia paint. It's got quite a, um, it's quite an art to kind of doing it, I suppose, but it is relatively easy. Um, but you just need to make sure that you buy the right paint and use the right tools. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. Um, and if you are new to my channel, then I would love to have you subscribe. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.